What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of NickMcD.TV. Now I found this uh, cool new program. It's called um, Glubis Preview. Now at first I wasn't really uh, impressed by it. I was like, wow, it's a thing that lets you open different files on your computer. But actually the more I use it, the more I love it and I really see the power and how awesome it is. Pretty much lets you preview a whole bunch of different file types on your computers. You can preview uh, PSDs, um, MP3s, movies, pictures, text files, source code, a whole bunch of different things in one program, all from the keyboard, so I don't have to double click, wait for the editor to open, whatever it is, you know, PSD, you have to open GIMP or, or whatever, um, MP3 player, you don't have to wait for anything to open, it pretty much opens instantaneously, shows you what it is, and then you don't have to drag the mouse up to the top button and click the X. I mean, those, those few seconds of dragging the mouse around, like, they really upset me. They really, like, I feel like I'm wasting time. Like, oh man, I have to drag my mouse an extra inch. This, I just go bloop, bloop, and then it's closed. So uh, I'll show you how to install it, or at least how I install it. It's really easy, and how to use it. It's pretty cool. Let's hop into the computer. So here's a preview of what it is. Pretty much, you click on the file, then you hit Control C, Control Space, and it brings up a preview. You can use the arrow keys to go through. And then instead of having to click the X, you can just hit spacebar and it closes it. Now, I know you might be thinking, wow, you know, I have GNOME opens just as fast. You see, just as fast. But the cool thing about this is that it can preview a whole bunch of different kinds of files. Here's a PDF, and it can do, uh, you know, text files, uh, it can do uh, movie files, it can do, uh, you know, just about everything without having to, uh, you know, pretty much. Uh, without having to, you know, launch 15 different types of applications, you can preview so many different files just by the click of a, you know, a couple keystrokes and then just hit spacebar to close it. I don't have to. This is what I'm talking about. Before, I would have to, uh, you know, click on the item and I have to go all the way over to the X and click it. And now for me, I mean, that's a big deal. That's, that's, that's like a wasted effort. But look at this. It will surf. You know, that's not it. That's not it. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's in this folder. Click on it. You know, that's not it. That's not it. And I can, you know, surf around easily. So to install, it's pretty easy. Um, I have, I just, there is um, PPA available. I didn't get that. I just got the source. And you just type in dot slash uh, configure. And it does all the configuring stuff, blah, 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 blah. Um, I did have to install a couple different dependencies. I'll list those below. And then you just type in make, and then you just type in make, um, sorry, sudo uh, make install, and then you're installed. And to remove it, just type in make clean if you end up not liking it. Make clean, and you're good. It will remove all the files from your computer. Now, once you install it, uh, there's one other thing you have to do. You have to um, pretty much set up the key bindings and you, gconf editor, that's what you want to open up, it's called gconf editor, just type that in in your terminal, and then you want to click on applications, then you want to go down to uh, Metacity, open that up, click on key bindings, now you can see right here where it says run command one, you want to type in control space, I already typed that in, so where it says global key bindings, run command one, control space and then where it says key bindings key binding commands on command one type in glubus preview command one glubus preview and then uh, once you close that oh I did something crazy stuff once you close that you're good you now should just be able to open up uh, you know Nautilus and hit control C control V I mean, sorry, control C, control space, and then you can view it. You can, like I said, you can use the arrow keys and then just hit space again and you're exited out of it. That's about it. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, like I said, at first I was kind of like, you know, what would I really use this for? I could just double click and open it. But you know, when you really realize how long it takes to open certain file types, especially like if you have to wait for GIMP and all this other stuff and you just want to preview the file, it really makes stuff quick. And the fact that, like I said, you don't have to, to close this, I could, you know, all the way up to the X. Whew, that was a lot of work. But now I just can leave my fingers right on my keyboard, my left hand, and I'm good. So that's about it. Pretty cool. I like it. You should check it out. And uh, it's very useful. 
Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I read all comments and I will answer, try to answer, if I can, uh, all your questions. And if you have anything you want to see on the show, um, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, see you guys next time.